Hello Virgo, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be doing a how they feel about you love reading where we look at your person's feelings, thoughts towards you, towards the connection and what their intentions are, possible next actions going to be. As always, these readings are meant to be general so they will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance in your birth chart. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. All right, for Virgo, Spirit, what do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about the person Virgo is thinking about connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Virgo? What are their energies towards Virgo? their energies the tower first card out ten of pentacles five of cups mm. wow the tower first card out what's going on virgo i feel like this person when they think about you when they think about your connection it's like something blew up or something happened that someone is uh thinking about with regret whoever this is there's regrets, um, sadness, disappointment with the Five of Cups. Ten of Pentacles is here. I'll have to see what that's all about. And then we have Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Um, this could be somebody having a realization about this tower that happened between you. Or some sort of need or desire that something needs to be revived. You know, we'll see when we clarify. Get some energies out here get some more insight for virgo what are the energies this person has towards virgo what do we need to know well, something definitely happened with this tower because this is what they're thinking or feeling about you and when they think about you virgo they think about this tower What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know? Divine timing. Trust in divine timing. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know? Interesting. Divine timing and the tower. Very powerful energies. Okay, we have difficult decision and closed off. Okay, so I feel like someone needs to make a decision about what they're going to do regarding this connection. Um, but I think they don't have enough information with closed off. There might be um, someone feeling a bit guarded, um, not really opening up about how they feel. And then bottom of the deck, we have broken silence. Exactly. It's almost like someone's closed off and they're thinking about opening that door, opening up being vulnerable, expressing how they feel to someone. Um, I'm also picking up that this person has been thinking a lot about what's happened, looking back at the past, and there's a lot of emotions there. Uh, maybe some internal conflict. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Virgo? If you're interested in any of my decks, these are my um, my decks that I've designed. Uh, the information for that's in the description box. What are this person's energies towards Virgo? What are this person's energies towards Virgo? Please forgive me. Oh yeah, there's definitely regrets here. What's this? I'll be messaging you. Oh yeah. Please forgive me. I'll be messaging you. They're thinking about what's happened. They think they have something to be sorry for. So let's clarify. Let's start with this tower. Why is this tower here? Why is the tower here? 
I'll use the tower here for Virgo. Wow, Page of Cups. This could be an apology, Virgo. Someone feeling like they need to apologize to you for the tower that happened here in the past, in the recent past. It doesn't really matter. Tell me about the tower. What's this tower about? This could also be that someone is unexpectedly going to express themselves to you. Maybe they're breaking the silence and you're not expecting that. It'll be kind of a tower moment in your in your connection because the tower could be something shocking, some sort of revelation. So maybe that's the tower. Tell me about the tower. What do I need to know about this tower? Three of Wands. So I feel like someone's, yeah, they're waiting. And I think this waiting has to do with this difficult decision. They are um, waiting for perhaps the right time, divine timing. Or maybe they're waiting for some sort of situation to resolve itself or you know it's almost like there's a little bit of hesitation here with the three of wands the three of wands is really a card about expecting a result or ex or waiting for an outcome um oops i just like knocked something down here um and so i sometimes i can interpret especially with the page of cups and the three of wands um it could also be that someone's thinking about well what kind of message will i receive back with this page of cups will i have a good response from virgo you know so it's they could be thinking about uh the way that you take this message this apology as well perhaps because it's so unexpected right like maybe they have no idea how you're going to take it tell me about the ten of pentacles why is the ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here Six of Pentacles. What's this? Five of Swords. Okay. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. Um, mm. Let me get one more because that's really odd. Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. The message that I'm getting is it's not what you think, but I don't know why. It's almost like they want to tell me that it's, it's not the interpretation that I would immediately go for. So let me get one more. I mean, when I see these two cards together, I think of someone, you know, trying to fix a conflict or balance out a conflict. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, but I got, it's not what you think. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. And there's a Seven of Wands. I feel like there's a conflict here, but I don't think it's with you. Now I'm starting to think that this could be outside of you. There's justice, Libra energy, someone fighting for what's right, defending themselves. This could be a legal situation as well. Someone in court having to defend themselves. The lovers is about a partnership. So this could already be an existing uh, commitment, Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. It could be that you're already in a commitment or they're already in a commitment. I feel like this person visualizes a challenge. Yeah, five of wands, exactly. They're expecting conflict. I don't think this conflict is with you. Um, I think it's a, a conflict somewhere else, but it's like this tower will probably bring about a conflict that they're like expecting. Could be a legal conflict, like I said, but. If they are in already, if there's already an existing commitment here <clears throat> between you and this person, whether it's you or them, um, I'm also picking up. Hmm. Uh, there will be an imbalance somewhere. So, like, if they choose you, they have to leave the other person. Or if they choose you, they'll have difficulties financially. I'm picturing a seesaw. So um, the Five of Swords is a card about failure. That's why I'm going there because I feel like I'm, with the seesaw that I'm seeing, it's like you get one thing, but you lose another. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here for Virgo? Strength, 
Leo energy there. Hmm. This is very interesting to me. Um, I, okay, tell me about the Five of Cups. It's like someone wishes they had been brave in the past. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Justice, again, Libra energy. And there's the Two of Wands. Whatever this decision is about that someone's thinking about, it's tied to the past. And it's almost like I'm, I need to make things right now. I need to make things right in the present moment. Can I get one more for the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, all major arcanas. So major shifts in energy tied to some sort of past regret. Bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. That's kind of what I was gonna mention like two minutes ago that I was like starting a sentence and I didn't really finish it is, I'm looking at these cards and I don't see action. I see the tower could be in action, but it's tied to a page of cups. It's not tied to like someone actually making a move of some sort. But now that I see the King of Wands, it's almost like, yeah, and there's a Knight of Swords, exactly. Um, these two together, I feel like this person, the past haunts them and I think they're being motivated to act. Um, however, I really feel like there's some sort of uh, official matter, official situation, government situation. Maybe this has to do with someone's career that someone's thinking about. Maybe they need courage to see this through. That's why the King of Wands is here. Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. So hmm, let's see what the person's intentions are. Nope. What are Virgo's person's intentions? The person that Virgo is dealing with thinking about spirit. What are their intentions towards Virgo? What are their intentions towards Virgo? Let's see. Ten of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Wow, Death, Scorpio energy. Well, I could tell you that, yeah, Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I could tell you that this person is um, ending a cycle and it's going to take some time to do this. I feel like this is someone that can no longer deal with the situation at hand. There's something about what's going on right now or how they feel about you where it's like they can't carry this burden any longer or they can't deal with the way things are much longer. And that's why there's a change happening here with death. They're walking away from something, Eight of Cups. And this is balancing things out for them. And I feel like when they walk away, whatever happens here with uh, the Five of Cups, Justice, Strength, and the Higher Font, remember that there was the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. I'll be messaging you is here. The Tower is here with the Page of Cups. So I think you can expect this person to um, unexpectedly contact you or it's a message you're not expecting. Um, what they tell you is not what you expect from them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like this is going to kind of set things in motion here, Virgo. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this quick bonus reading on how they're feeling about you. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.